Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to a brand new game called Ostrov. This is a game that uh, has just come out. It's just hit alpha. Uh, it's not available on Steam. You've got to go to their website, or his website, I, I must say, ostrovgame.com. Um, this is being developed by a single person, kind of like Banished was. Uh, this one's out of the Ukraine, and the developer's name, if I can pronounce it correctly, is Yevgeny, or something real close to that. Um... I'm going to pop into the game real quick because I've noticed my fans are all turning on. It's got V-Sync and, and uh, you can lock the frame rate in, but I don't think this takes effect until we get into a game. And so the computer is very quickly warming up. Um, new game, we've got three maps that have been created so far. There's an awful lot that this game is yet to do that's not in the game yet. So I don't know if eventually we'll see procedurally generating maps or just how that's going to happen. Um, right now, I'm kind of liking this one. I like the idea of maybe jumping the river there to an island out in here. So let's go with that. See what... Uh, whoa, we're there. Okay. No load of time or anything. Hit pause for a second here. And... Basically, this is our starting condition. This is our camp, and we've got nine families and nine tents. And I think what I will do, the game is extremely detailed in the way that it builds the buildings. And it takes quite a bit of time. Each, each board gets brought over and assembled. So while all of that is happening, I'll do a little more explaining what the game is about and, and some background and the roadmap and whatnot. But let's get things set up first and kind of walk around and, and see this place. It's quite flat. There are some places that dip down just a little bit too much to build on and I don't get the sense of terraforming in the game yet. We've got some forests in here and yeah, one little birch tree in the middle of this forest of what? What are these? Like a conifer? A pine tree. Okay. And looks like we are in March, so we've got just the last remnants of snow from the previous winter. Winters here are brutal. You have got to have all of your families in homes before winter hits in November, or they're just going to pack up and leave. Just kind of looking around everything. Look at the water reflections and whatnot. It's a nice looking game. And I'm going to turn my volume up. There are background noises. They're very, very slight. So there's no sense of being able to uh, to change noise or volume levels at this point. But um, I'm sure that'll come eventually. Anyway, we've got a bunch of citizens here. And each tent will tell you who's living in it, what their job is, what supplies they've got. And let's see, right up in here, it'll show you the supplies in general for the whole community. Uh, 100 wood, 12 thatch, 10 iron, and 1600 nails. That 100 wood is key because that, uh, at least at this point in the game, in the development of the game, that is pretty important to recognize. You've got to start off with your forestry or forester. You've got to get wood production coming in. Think of this as the sawmill. Um, I guess something like that. If you forest, it cannot be placed on trees. Okay. So we'll, we'll head there with that. Let's see. I don't have the game on. I don't. There we go. So one, two, three changes these guys. Yeah, those one, two, three for that. WASD moves you around. Spacebar is your pause. And I'm going to keep to slow at the moment. Once we get everything set up, then I'll kick the speed up and we'll just sit back and watch and I'll read from my notes and you know, let you know more about it. Oh wow, look at the lily pads. I love the reflections of the moving water there too. Yeah, I'm going to get lots of distractions here. Anyway, we know we need forestry. We need a way to take down the logs and make new wood, new uh, planks for the remaining buildings. And that forester is going to require 74 of those 100 boards that we've got already, which is why that has to go in first. If you don't put that in, the game comes to our grinding halt. So maybe eventually there'll be a, a second way to obtain wood, maybe by hand with a handsaw or something, when you get into that situation where you run out of the basic materials to continue on. But at this point, that's what you've got. Other materials that you will need will be the smithy, though that's not super critical yet. 
Eh, I still want to put it in. Basically, I want the three, four most important things. They build using, there you go, wood, nails, clay, and thatch. The smithy makes the nails. The thatchery, where are you? Right there, makes your, your roofing, basically. And your clay pit makes the other. If we can get the four basic building material supplies in place, then we'll start working on housing and whatever else goes into the town. So, where to? Thatchery? Let's go with the smithy. And I'm thinking close by also. T and R spin you around. And that's one thing about the game that's that's so enjoyable is that you're not stuck with hitting, you know, four positions, north, south, east, west. You can spin it to any position you want and drop it in. And certain things with fences all interact with each other and the fences will will uh kind of well, you'll see it when we get there, but it's the way that the graphics are done are, are really, really good. That's fairly parallel right there. I'm going to put you in. Let's see. That building is mostly up in there, so it might look best. Let's go down something like this. I can picture a road shooting through there. So let's get down into this area. Something like that. Here's our queue. And click on it. It'll tell you what materials we're waiting for, what has been brought there already, and this is the progress bar for all the various stages. And if you guys can be watching down in here while I'm jabbering along, you'll see how they build each individual post or pier, each, each um, oh, what would you call these, joists, and there'll be more posts and girders and rafters and all kinds of great stuff in there. But also our laborers, which of our laborers are working here, and... What other information do we have? You can put things on pause if you want to move on to the next stage. You can grab these guys and change their order as you need to. So you put something down and realize you're not going to have enough materials to do that. Let's get on to the next building first. You can reorder things. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit because I need to think about a clay pit. Where to? Right there. Let's turn you off. Get our, our view back. Clay pit. We're not stuck with one of any of these. Clay pit, to my knowledge, doesn't, work, doesn't uh, have any building materials. We can just put it in, but there's no way to get rid of it. So don't put us somewhere thinking you're going to take it out afterward. Let's see. Let's, I see an opening in the fence there. R, T. Yeah, that'd be much better. I don't know if they walk right through the fence or not. In case not, let's put this... Hmm... I can imagine eventually people would not want to live next to a clay pit. So eventually that might be a oops, might be a way to determine where you want things. I'm going to take it all the way down into here. I would imagine clay near a riverbank sounds right. Let's do that over there and I think I'm going to put another one out over here eventually. Uh, thatch. Thatch gathers reeds. So let's get the thatchery somewhere near a source of reeds, either down there or over here. You do have to think about the amount of time it takes them to walk. And speaking of walking, notice the grass right now. Let me move up. Um, center mouse wheel. Click that and you can rotate like so. Let's see if I can get everybody nauseous. Um, everything is nice and green right now. Try to remember that 15 minutes in. You start to see their paths, their carts. So we'll start to damage the ground and start leaving pathways in. Let me get a little closer in here while they're doing this. Whoa, there's a hammer. <laughs> yeah, the, the sounds need to be uh, moderated a little bit. But we're starting to, to put all the individual pieces in. And as they use up these building materials, more building materials will start to arrive as the queue starts to call for them. Getting all the floors in right now. So we're right in this phase. Oh, okay, the floor was right there, and that completed. Now we're in the wall phase. So now we're going to put all the posts up for the walls. And soon, when all these supplies are gone, there'll be a new queue over here uh, calling for more supplies and more uh, wagons will start showing up. Real detailed. Now, if you count every board that goes into here, I imagine you're going to find there's a lot of different phases. You get down uh, as close as I can get. Yeah, it's about right in there. Getting where we can see this a little bit better. Anyway, so we've got to put in the thatchery. Oh, I didn't notice the details of the posts right there. 
This part's going to be visible outside, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Those little touches. They really mean a lot. There goes the uh, uh, the top of the walls. We're going to see rafters probably drop in over that. We're just starting the next phase over here, which is... Okay, that's framing, and this is filling it in. Okay. Then we'll have another maybe two phases. I see a little red line right there. I wonder what that means, if that is when new materials are being called for, or just how that works. Once we get this one up, and I get everything laid out... Oh, didn't want to interrupt them there. <laughs> then we'll uh, uh, kick the speed up, because I want to get from now till winter, if I can, into this very first episode. And if I survive it, maybe there'll be a second episode. There goes the rafters. That's quite a steep gable there. But uh, we've got a harsh winter coming, so probably meant for snow. Kind of a timber frame construction. Fun to watch. Just about out of our supplies. Thatch will be coming in soon for the roof, which means we need to get that thatch tree up and going. A little shallower roof over here. Let's spin around. This mouse is quite sensitive right now. It went in without thatch. Okay. Maybe that's the game's way of giving you a break if you don't have that going right now. But I do need to get to work on laying more of these out. So let's do that. Um, here, thatch. Right there. Where to? And let's get down and look this thing. Whoa, tip myself over that way. Okay. Spin around. What's he look like? We have an entrance right here. Let's let's head down near the clay pit. I'm liking that. Right there. He's next in line. Let's zoom back up here a little bit. So we've got lumber, we've got thatch, we've got nails, we've got clay. Now we need to get uh well there's lots of things we could do, but the housing is the most important. Right over here. And at this point, there's only one house model. I'm going to make the guess that that's going to uh, change over time. You can rotate in any direction you want. Oh, Q&E rotates the map. Okay. R and T rotates this guy. You don't have to follow a grid. We can take this thing and just make an arch all the way around, which might be kind of fun. I have never done that in my practice games. Let's do that. Speaking of practice games, I... Let's see here. There he is. So before I get into that, see how it interacts with the other? You can rotate this a little further and snag that fence line right there and rotate that around. Let's do three of them like that. Anyway, I was... Oh, I can only go so far, though. Hmm. Well, we'll do that. Um, I was among the, uh, uh, the testers of the game from uh, pre-alpha. And got to see it from, I think it was version 5 of, of the pre-alpha on. So I've been watching the progression of the game for the last several months. Been, uh, been fun watching the difference between that version and this one with this you know nice little uh, display of, of all the buildings down here and the pop-ups and, and what have you. So much has changed. Here's our queue. We've got three houses in. We've got nine families. So, oh, you know one thing I didn't do? There, that's the step I missed. We need, nothing says stalled yet, we need someone making lumber. Because this is calling for, I don't know how much more lumber to finish this off. How much was this one? We had like 26 boards left. Uh, there you are, Smithy. Needs 56. We know, we're not going to have enough. Let's get two workers in here. In fact, I'm going to go even further. Let's put three workers in to get a kind of a burst of wood in. And then we will tone that back down and send them off to the different job sites. Um, you can give limits to how much production you want going on if you don't want them you know, spending so much time on this or that. I'm going to cut firewood in half so we can concentrate more effort on on the planks. And uh, Logs, I'm pretty sure that's log storage. So after they have filled their queue, I'm thinking more logs can continue coming in until it's maxed out. Then the workers really have nothing to do. 
but I've never been in that situation. I've always had too much for them to do. Okay, so that is in. We've got that going. As soon as this pops, then we will put a, a single worker in there until we're certain we've got enough nails for all the different buildings. We already come with an awful lot of nails, but I think I'm going to wipe that out plus a little bit more. So I do want to have this up and going. Anyway, more houses. We need nine. We've got three. Hmm. It didn't arch arc as far as I wanted to. Let's take another one off on this angle and do another three over here. And then what? Where do we get three more that kind of follows this pattern? I don't know. I mean, eventually, zoom out, we can have a whole city out in here. But for now, we've got to make these paths and, you know, do all this work, this labor, before November. So we've got some work to do. Oh, something else I forgot about. When you talk, doing a Let's Play, at least my brain doesn't uh, doesn't keep up with it, the game the same way that if, if I was just playing. We can pick each individual tree and decide whether to remove it or, that's the only birch tree, let's protect that one. See if we can get more birch growing, get some more hardwood in here. But let's set up the particular trees we want taken out. If I don't do this, I suspect they will continue to randomly do it. It's possible. I've not played it without selecting to remove. So they were bringing that this log over without me having selected any. So I'm going to assume that they will take all the trees on their own if you don't give them a choice. Um... Where were we? Three more houses. Let's get these laid out. And then we'll talk about uh, what else the game has to offer. Um, R&T. That looks pretty symmetrical right there. I want to leave room for a road. But I want these closer in. What if we did something like that? Yeah, there it is. And let's arc in real tight. To here, I think. We'll see if I'm too close already. Uh, T, no, R, come around. Yeah, there's only so much that it will curve and still be able to snap to it. Okay, so maybe this plan is not the best one. Let's demolish these and rethink that. We're not, we're not there yet anyway. And I need to remember to keep an eye up in here. Because if there's a problem, it'll say stalled. And go and figure out what the problem is. Um, I've just noticed sitting over here, build houses for all families in the camps. This is basically giving you a, a clue on what you need to be doing right now. We're still early. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and kick the speed up to the next notch. I was going to wait till I had them all laid out, but they got a ways to go. We've still got to build this guy over here. Um, houses. How do we want to lay these out? And that's, you know... Because you're not snapping to a grid, and you've got the flexibility of figuring out exactly how you want to do it, you've got to have some imagination. <laughs> a grid takes away your responsibility to have to be imaginative. <laughs> okay, uh, so you're right there. I think we're just going to leave some gaps. Actually... Okay, that tent, these tents are going away. This could be a main road down in here. Let's say that is going to be a main road down in there. Let's set a row of them up in a line. And let's see, T, y, uh, R. There we go. We'll try to make these guys fairly parallel to each other. I'm thinking that's pretty good right there. And you can kind of stretch it. Ah, I'm only going to get two out here. We start to go uneven. I'm not even going to get two. Oh, if I do, if I touch it right there. All right, we'll do that. These two here. And all right. Let's put another two. Rotate you around. Let's get, not the fence because it's flexible. Let's get the building pretty parallel to that. Something like that. And about like so. Let's put another one right below there. I'm trying to get nine and make them look good. That's the challenge. You are actually clear up in there if we wanted to make these guys even. Doing so, where do I hit uneven? No, we're fine there. 
about like that. Now, you need one worker. You have brought in one log. You've got 65 boards or planks ready. As soon as this guy goes back to work, he's going to start working on that one log, right? Yep, one log's moved over, and there's 15 boards that are going to be cut out of it. Can I see the cutting? I can hear it. Yeah, bringing in more. It's one of those games that you could just sit back and relax and just watch it. Not really even play it. Just sit back and watch all the little animations and details that going inside. All right, boards, the logs are coming in. I'm waiting for them to start. Okay, where are they going to process that? I guess it's happening inside, so you don't get to see the saws. Okay. And you can hear the uh, blacksmith just got to work. Oh, he's right in there. He's tapping on something. Let's see if I can rotate around. The camera movements are still uh, still kind of wonky. Still needs some work. I haven't figured out where the access point is. You know, it, it's fine when you're at a certain zoom level. That feels pretty good. If you zoom in, it swings out wildly. So the the axis or the center point of your rotation needs to move with the zoom to make it work better. But those are all the little details that will be worked out in time. Um, I feel like I am way behind on here. Okay, we're working on these. All right, we've got five going. Turn you off, and I need four more somewhere. So we've done there, 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 there. Let's do one more down here. And he's at a, a funny angle. Yeah, I'm thinking farming out in here. So I kind of wanted the houses mostly in this area. Hmm. The tents will go away as they move in, so maybe a town center of some kind over here. And look at, there's our pathways I was talking about. They're starting to uh, wear out the turf, the sod, where uh, where they, they do most of their walking from their tent door into the center and, and off to the different job sites. Um, four more houses, then I can get busy doing other things. Let's see here. I kind of wish I could move that one now, but I don't dare. So, um, all right, let's see how this all interacts. We've got a pathway potential right through here. So let's do something kind of like that. All right, there. And see if I can get to the back side of these and still have room. Now, it doesn't say I can't do it. Okay, you're going to go there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more. House. I wonder if eventually this will have a hotkey. I can see us using it an awful lot. You were back to back right there. So something like that. I see. You can snap you. And that's kind of an interesting angle. Let's do something like that. One more. Where? Is he down here? Or is he somewhere else entirely? the mayor's house and I think there is going to be a mayor in this game so the mayor's house is up over here all right there's our houses so our basic supplies are in we need thatch coming in so let's throw a worker into there did I take a worker out of this I did not right click and he goes away all right so with that let's zoom in here a little bit where is house number two over there okay I'll try to remember to move over there afterward. I'm going to be looking down at, at uh, some papers to read here. Let me read from the website. And in case I did mention before, ostrovgame.com is where you can get a hold of this in the, in the alpha version. Um, Ostrov is a city building game that puts you in the role of a governor of an 18th century town to challenge your creative skills and management abilities. I've got management abilities. I don't know if I have creative skills. <laughs> anyway, um, Ostrov aims to raise the bar of city building experience by adding a huge amount of possibilities and removing annoying limitations. It allows for truly organic town layouts without grid and angle restrictions on a three-dimensional landscape. I'm just watching him over there. He's putting up the... He's using clay to put up those walls. It's like Maybe they're stucco walls and clay to put up the chimney. Neat. Um, where was I? The goal is to make a player's creation become alive. 
and believable communities where real life problems could arise, thus making late game a new challenge rather than a repetitive chore. The current alpha version contains 26 basic buildings, three maps, advanced farming with crop rotation and plowing, organic dirt road modeling, dynamically changing seasons, hello, basic trading by land and other things you would expect from a city building game. You're quite loud, you know that? I think I'll let them get those last four or five boards up. Get to see uh, there's still ten wood being uh, picked up. This is this one, right? This is not. This is right here. So three thatch going in, three layers of roof. Um, finishing off the description, a lot of things are yet to be done. Check out the current roadmap to see what's planned to add before Ostrov would become a finished game. So, where are we now? There. Let's zoom in here. And I'm going to kick the speed up a little bit faster now. Let's see. Three. Good to see this in fast motion while I'm reading off the roadmap. Unless I printed off his, his website. So, yet to come. And I'm going to zoom out a little because the noise is a bit much. Campaign or story mode is coming. I've got about well, probably 30, th 30 things here in this list. Improved trading by sea, by river, negotiations, discounts, and reputation. More statistics of production, consumption, trade, etc. More production chains. That'll be nice. There's already a lot of production chains in here when we get into looking at the buildings. Um, education, religion, and entertainment. Graveyards. Crime, justice, and security. More types of housing, like row houses, etc. More types of bridges and paved roads. Pigs, sheep, chickens, orchards, and more crop types. More sound effects and music. Improved graphics and optimized performance for bigger cities. Eventually, this is heading to Linux and maybe Mac. Looking for uh, adding weather supports or weather effects. Improved navigation. Cats and dogs. <laughs> more believable behavior, social activities, and animations. Uh, we're about halfway through the list here. More realistic product, uh, product consumption. Real demand for food variety. Product quality and spoilage. In other words, we're going to try to make this as lifelike and realistic as possible. Um, worker experience. Sharing experience. Manager skills. Private businesses. Vehicles wearing out. More town hall functionality, advisors, policies, personnel management. More maps with different landscape types. Ability to select camp position. Okay, your starting position. Better tree models, better UI. That's your uh, user interface, everything we've got out in here. Um, more languages. Complete game manual and in-game tips. More options, customizable key bindings. Nice. Customizable building colors and ornamentations, customizable building forms, freeform fields, as well modding support for uh, putting together a level and building editor. So there's a long way to go yet. This is very early in this game. I see we moved on over here. Where are we now? We're in June. Okay. June, and they are already working on the foundation on this one. So we've got two houses in. We've got two tents that have gone away. We've got a well right here. I haven't really zoomed in yet to, to see a lot of the details. Let's watch this. Wait for someone to come up with, for some water. When that happens, I'll try to slow it down a bit. Very believable well design. There we go. Rock over here. Pull down on the rope, grab it, and as you pull up, the rock, the counterweight assists and pulls it up for you. Um, we've got some what quests or priorities or goals i guess you'd call them we need a sufficient water supply which it does arrive with though i would imagine after more population comes in it's not going to be enough you need to get another one in you're going to eventually need a market you're going to need housing available for everybody and you're going to need uh, jobs available and we do have that now in fact how are we doing on that Let me zoom out here a little bit this guy firewood 103 wood 204 so we have actually peaked out on wood Wow, I've never done that before. 
Interesting. What am I doing differently? <laughs> Let's mark a few more of these for removal. Let's see. That one right there? Yeah. And this one. And that one. Eventually, we'll put a bridge across and maybe build another... Uh, uh, it's called a forestry. I would call it a sawmill out over there. Yeah, we're really uh, tearing up the turf over here now, aren't we? Yeah. Now, so eventually I get the sense we're going to be able to place our own roads in. Right now, they're they're basically wearing roads in. Let's go through what we have available here. This is the house we've been using. It gives you the, uh, the building materials necessary to pull it off. This is the well, very similar to that one. We've got... Let's come to that one last. Let's go backwards. Government, there's a town hall building. That is something I'd like to see. In fact, it's, it's asking for it. So let's go ahead and think about that. He can go in here. Should he face here? I think we're going to be facing this way through a lot of the game. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, right there is a camp cart parking. So our carts go in there. So that will stay. The camp storage, I don't recall if there is other camp stores. It may be in, well, decoration, storage. No, so I'm guessing these buildings need to stay for a while. Unless they're stored within the buildings, like this is storing our lumber right now. We have a lot of logs stacking up, too. You know what? Let's pull out one worker. Let one worker work with these logs here and let's get more construction done um where was i i was all oh, playing with the town hall all right so this building here the the cart storage is not going to leave let's spin around here and line it up how so we have a road coming in like this the front of the building seemed to be right about there let's do this and leave the sense of a road in front of it so let's see that from this side. Is there enough room for a road there? Is that parallel? It looks pretty good. All right, so you're going to be lined up with right there. And I need as much room as possible for a road in between. No, there's not. Because it's not just this building. It's a fence in front of it. Okay. So if we were to rotate like so, we can't. Okay, so that's not going to work. These tents are going to leave. These tents are going to leave. Maybe we'll wait till these are done. Put out in this area. That might look better. Okay. Back down here. You guys are working in this area. And I'm still at speed one. Because I slowed down to talk about something, didn't I? Go back to speed three. There we go. And I'll pull that up so you can watch the pro progress of that one. Well, this one. Let's do that. Anyway. Decoration. Let's start at this end. Decorations, fence. Do I get to see it? Not really. So we'll just have to look at it from this point of view here. So we've got three fences. Big arch. I want to say that is a, a path covering. Not sure. Or it's just a, a roof of some kind to, to put over something. Big and small. We've got uh, one, two, three, four different kinds of trees. Really? All right, I'm curious. Let's just go over here and plant a couple trees. And let's see if you know what at what speed or what rate they they grow. Let's put in like six ash trees. Um, I'm going to try some. If I hold shift ash it doesn't it does let me repeat. I was hoping that, that was like that. I just made a guess. Good. So we'll see what those do. And that noise was another one and another tent went away. Okay, so we're in here. Where is next? Next it's going to be over there. Well, we'll watch this one. The thatch is being delivered. How is thatch doing? Did I ever employ this? I did, right? I did. Thatch right in there. Another house just got finished. Great. Let's watch this for a while. You can, you can watch him do his work. Um, so that was the trees and the benches. Benches we'll deal with later. Let's get the buildings in before we figure out where the benches should go. All right, so that is Town Hall. You've seen that. Trade and transport. So a hay 
barrack or hay storage. Like I remember this tweet when it came out when he was showing this model when it was made. Um, so we're going to be able to make hay for cattle, and this is how you will store it. Your granary? Question mark? Okay, we get a description for all of them. Uh, granary workers collect chosen resources to have them stored in uh, all in one place. It's useful to have a granary close to a market. Okay, so maybe eventually these will be little pop-ups, so you don't have to go to another screen to, to see that. Training post is going to be important. Whoops. Actually, I read town hall. It isn't the town hall that's needed. It's the market that's needed, which I think is the trading post. Ah, okay. Or it's a market stall. So maybe build one or, one or both of these. Cart parking, we've seen that. Um, cart. Actually, I didn't want to do that. Go back to you. Right there. Ah, there's no... I see. Holds up to four carts. That was a pop-up for that one. It just says food storage. Allow trading with other cities. Build a trading post and hire a manager to be able to create new trade routes. Assign workers for loading and unloading trade wagons. Okay. I just Yeah, they're building quite fast over there. Let's get back over here where we can see this. We're over here now. Um, what was I going to say? Um... I don't know, lost that train of thought. But trading with other cities, maybe that was it. World map. We are here, our city. Alpha One Note, current version of the game has simplified world map for easier debugging. It will be improved in following versions. Great. So we've got one, two, three other cities over here. Do I click on them? I click on them and get some information. Okay. We don't have a trading post. We don't have a trading post. We don't have a trading post. <laughs> well... We don't have a trading post either, so okay, I can't uh, can't fault them for that. <laughs> They're busy trying to build houses over there too. All right, so these guys are going in. We're still a speed three. We are. So I think I want to run this episode until I get all nine houses in. Though a trading post would be nice. Where to? I mean, ideally right in the center of town. I don't think I'm going to have room. Let's find that again. Trading post was in here. Yeah, it looks huge, and it is. So it's going to have to be, I guess, out here. So road's going to come through there. Road's going to go through there. We have the front of the trading post. We get down in here and rotate right there. And one would assume it would head in toward the city. Maybe not. This is really meant for outsiders. Market stalls are probably meant for the city or for our town. So I wonder if this should face out. And they will be coming in. If you look at the map here, us to the forest. This is the forest. So they're going to be coming in from that direction. And another house is done. Woo! We're in August. It's still going to be closed. August, September. Um, so front door out there. Oh, there's two front doors. I didn't see the two archways. And those... Let me just drop this so I can move my mouse around. Let's go for right about... Actually, that forms a road. Right there. I like that. There was an archway there, an archway there. By archway, I mean um, these guys. So that's what he, how he means archway. The basically the think of a the sign over the entrance to the town kind of a kind of a thing. That's going to be right there, and it was here and here, which means it could line up with a road that travels right through it. I like that. You're going to be over there. We also need to think about. Go ahead and get these laid out now. Um, well, are we done with this? Wooden bridge. And we've seen the rest of this. Wooden bridge is the only one I didn't point out, which is going to maybe follow that line right through town and be right over here. We'll see. But let's get into this one now. Uh, forestry, a farm, manages field workers, plowing, and crop rotation. We've got the windmill, I assume for grinding Yep, wheat into flour, which will come from the farm. Uh, farming, when you build it, I think you can choose what it is you're going to plant. Uh, trading probably brings in more choices of what to plant, I'm going to make the guess, as well as brings in animals. I haven't gotten that far in the game yet. Um, I'm, I'm lucky just to survive the first winter. <laughs> Slaughterhouse deals with the animals in the cow shed of, of uh, your farm, so you, I believe you're either farming crops or you're farming animals. Tannery takes the 
hides from the slaughterhouse and makes, um, is it down here? Shoes, shoemaker. Um, I want to say it's flax that you can grow that will be used by the tailor, uh, by the textile, the weaver, produce a hemp, reduces uh, textile from hemp, and then that textile will turn into clothes. So we have a whole production chain going on here. So shoes from the leather, thatchery we've seen, um, oil workshop from sunflower seeds will produce oil. Great. Otherwise, fishing and boat yard. These I want to get into. A hay dryer. I assume that the hay dryer is one step prior to the hay barrack. That sounds reasonable. Let's place the boat yard and probably down in here. So if this is a road cutting through, let's put one on this side like so. Let me get in here a little bit. Can I rotate him any? No, he doesn't uh, twist around. We will do something like, although I am taking away some of the reeds. All right, we'll go there. So that road comes through. He'll be sitting over here. Let's put the fishing off to this side. Right in there. That looks pretty good. That looks even better. Uneven terrain. Not better. Okay. Can I... Wow. You want a very specific place, don't you? Okay. Well, we're going to be rather interesting and be off at an angle. That, that works good, too. So that's these guys. So that's going to give us a source of food. We'll also be looking at eventually, and actually this probably does need to be in rather soon, because we're eventually going to run out of iron. We're down to five. We have lots of nails, though. In fact, we have quite a few nails. Let's pull him off in case there's other uses for those that iron. Nails, we have what I say, 1,400-ish, and we have yet to build just one house two houses, and this guy and those two. So another house, nail-wise, 100, and you need another 130, so 234, 3, 400, and the trader, where were you? Trading post, 300, and say 500 nails. So we have plenty of nails for what we've got queued up. Boards, we're probably doing pretty good too. This is working. It really is. This is coming together. We are in October. We've got one house left. And one, two tents left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I missing here? Ah, they just moved out and moved into their new digs. Great. One left. I think we're going to make it. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. We will see. We have as many people available as possible. Hey, the birch tree has uh, gone to autumn colors. Nice. I'm pretty sure as we get into November, we'll see all these leaves drop. You know, they're starting right now. We'll see the ground texture change to uh, leaf covered. Otherwise, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of this episode. I want to... I would love to at least get to the point where there's no more red on that screen. So we'll see how that works. In fact, let me just kind of stay zoomed in right here. So you can see the, uh, uh, something like that. In fact, also, while I'm thinking about it, there are trees that are planted in the houses. So we'll also see leaves in uh, autumn colors on the ground over there. And look at the pathways. You can see what a, a whole summer season, we'll, we'll say, has done to the ground and, and created their, their natural pathways in here. What I don't know is if these will eventually grow over and go away if they're not constantly used anymore. I'm going to make the guess that they will. It seems to be that dynamic, but I'm not certain yet. So let's leave this like so. You can kind of watch this and this while I figure out what else I was talking about. Um, what was I talking about? I think we hit the end, didn't we? I think so. So what else needs to go in? Okay, farm. That's where I was. Let's think about where we're going to lay out a farm. Which is probably out in here. I'm thinking so. I'm also thinking about position of of uh, the entrance to it. I haven't checked it. I haven't really paid close enough attention to see if they are truly restricted to walking to that entrance. I think so. You can see the pathway to the, the forester over there. 
Yep, they are. They have to follow the entrances. So be aware of where you're entering your properties. Um, can I touch you that way? Yeah. So if we do that, they should be able to get to that just fine. And once this builds, it'll let us snap out a, uh, a field that will be worked by that farm. Already starting to drop off things. Nice. They haven't finished these yet, and they're already starting to fill the other ones. That's good to see. Oh, we have stalled. Slow down. Can't find wood anywhere. Oh, did I really do that? Okay. Get you guys going. Oh, I may have actually missed one. Yep, I took that one worker out, and then I started talking. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I, I do those things. How fast can we catch up? Can we catch up? We may be down to eight families. Eight has been my record, and I hear I thought I was going to break my record, but then I blew it. Yeah. And I was also going to put another clay pit over here so these would build even faster. Yeah, best laid plans. Well, let's speed this up to get into November. We are dropping our leaves, and they've all the leaves have fallen out of here. So it looks like the very end of November is when winter hits. And if that house is not built, and it looks like it won't be, we'll see this family drop their tent and walk off in the, into the snow, off into the, uh, the horizon. But we're making wood here. We are. We need 10 wood to go. It's so close, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, when that happens, we'll slow down and watch that one poor family stomp off. There we go. Yep, they said, uh-uh, we're out of here. Bye, citizen. You are Petro, and you live here. Okay, but these two are leaving. And with that, I think I'm going to be leaving too. We didn't get this accomplished yet. They will continue to work through the winter. I'm going to pause right here and hit save. And I think I will build and uh, create a new episode. Maybe we'll do two or three. We'll see how far I can. Maybe we'll just make a mini series out of it. See how far I can go until I uh, until I blow it completely and forget to employ another building. In fact, let's take one of you back out because our race is over. And that's plenty enough to keep uh, enough wood in for what we're doing next. So let's call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. And uh, do check out uh, AustroGame.com and pick up a copy of this. And I will catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.